COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It usually affects smokers. 75% of COPD cases are due to smoking. That's how important it is. And COPD has 10% of world population after 40. So it usually affects adults over 40. We have several important causes which can cause COPD. First and most dominant, as we said, is smoking. Second is occupational exposure, dust, fumes, and chemicals. It's occupational disease also. It's second place. And in around 2% of cases, it's genetic disease, which is called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. And at this case, young children are affected by COPD. That's why it's important. So if person is young and he or she has COPD, it means alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency with high probability. Now let's say what is the most important types and most important symptoms. Most common symptom of COPD is persistent cough with mucus production due to mucus and shortness of breath due to alveoli damage. And we have two types of COPD based on the symptoms also. First is chronic bronchitis. At this case, airways are damaged. So it's important that in chronic bronchitis, we have chronic persistent cough with mucus production. And second type is emphysema. In case of emphysema, alveoli or airway sacs in the lungs are damaged. So at first scenario, bronchitis are damaged and second scenario, lungs are damaged itself. So, and we have different symptoms. When lungs are damaged, we have shortness of breath more commonly and predominantly. And when we have chronic bronchitis, we have persistent cough with mucus production. What is early symptoms of, of the disease? Early symptoms are chronic cough with mucus production. That's most important part and most important symptoms. Later, we have persistent shortness of breath. And at early stages, we also have shortness of breath on physical activity. And later stages, we have persistent shortness of breath, fatigue, and weight loss. And final stage, difficulty breathing, even at rest. Now let's say how COPD develops. First, we have irritation of airways. It can be dust, it can be smoking. Um, it irritates airways. It causes inflammation of airways. Inflammation causes mucus production mucus production and formation causes chronic cough and eventually this mucus causes narrowed airways also so we have here uh, narrowed airways and we have obstruction that's why it is called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease we, because we have obstruction obstruction is most com most important word here and Secondly, also, uh, alveoli are damaged, and when alveoli are damaged, we also have symptoms such as shortness of breath. Now, let's say how we diagnose COPD. Gold standard and most important diagnostic test is pyrometry and FEV1 FVC ratio if it is less than 0 0.70 it confirms uh, obstructive disease and it confirms COPD 
So what is idea? Person uh, blows blows out air first. What person can, and we measure it at first second, and after this, uh, we measure total air blown out from the person, and we we make this ratio from one second and uh, total air blown out and if this ratio is 0. less than 0. 0.70 it confirms the diagnosis of COPD um, and differential diagnosis it's it's important differential diagnosis mainly differential diagnosis we make between COPD and asthma and what is main difference here main difference is asthma is reversible and COPD is irreversible when there is damage of alveoli it's irreversible process already so COPD is irreversible and asthma symptoms is reversible that's main difference here other symptoms can be similar everything can be similar but asthma is reversible that's main difference and treatment what is treatment we have no cure because when lungs are damaged it's irreversible and COPD progress over time it affects lifespan also but we have treatment treatment start with lifestyle changing it's smoking cessation first of course physical activity and healthy diet weight loss everything affects but smoking cessation is most important bronchodilators are usually effective they relax muscles around the airways and they have almost 80 percent effectivity it's huge number actually so bronchodilators are important and steroids steroids are used combination in bronchodilators usually to reduce inflammation and even treatment if you notice we have similar to asthma asthma treatment also same bronchodilators steroids in combination so treatment also we have almost same but different is when we have COPD it's irreversible when we have asthma it's reversible when age is younger it's higher probability asthma when age is after 40 it's higher probability COPD and pulmonary rehabilitation is important exercise important education nutrition we talk, we said about it already lifestyle changing and oxygen therapy if it's advanced stages uh, what is prognosis prognosis uh, depends on stage prognosis depends of smoking cessation we can slow down process but we we cannot reverse it we cannot cure it affects anyway it affects lifespan but if it, it's most commonly if it's early stages if it's mild it's manageable uh, in late stages it severely affects lifespan and it's fourth most common cause of death in worldwide that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now